people don't talk enough about the mental stuff. I mean, everyone wants to follow like, well, what, what training? Hey, can you help me with my training program? Can you help me with my training program? I'm like, what's the point? I don't, I've seen you train. Mm -hmm. Like I see you kind of casually training, you know? Um, I mean, yeah, you got to have fun in the gym. Of course. I say hi to people. I, mm -hmm. Hey man, good to see you, man. How's it? It's good to see you. Good to see you off your crutches. You know, like I say yeah, stuff yeah. to people while I'm walking around the gym. I own the gym. I mean, I fucking, you know, and I'm retired, yeah. but, but, but yeah, for the most part, like your hat's not low enough. Your headphones <laughs> are out too often. I don't see you like seriously contemplating life before your big sets, you know, like there should be a moment where, where you have to like, you know, get ready for this set. And sometimes you see like people like unracking bars while they're laughing. No, you yeah. know, you already know it's not going to yeah, work. Uh, yeah. It'd be a good weekend. You know, yeah. but, like, I could never, yeah. I just, I, yeah. that's, if you want to look like the guys you think you want to look like you, you have to, you have to also look at like what's going on in their head. I know it might look like they're, you know, it might look like they're just moving around the gym like other people, but what's really going on, the intent, the mm -hmm. focus, the, all that stuff. It's really important, you know? Yeah. You know, do you come to the gym with butterflies in your stomach on leg day because you're doing hack squats and you know, like, yes, you know, it, you know that, you know, yes, yes, two yes. workouts ago, you had eight reps on this hack squat and, and it, you're, you know, you really, really got to get nine this week. And you've been thinking about it for, you know, 10 days since you're, and you really got to do it. And yeah. And you, you're driving to the gym thinking about nine reps, nine reps, nine reps. And first thing that you say to your training partner, when you get to the gym is fuck, fucking I, let's do these hacks, you know, like, and, and it's, yeah. if you're not like that, I don't know. I don't know if you're ever going to like, you might win shows, you might win local shows, you might be a good bodybuilder, but I'm just saying most people, they're just, there's, because there's a bunch of guys out there that were like me, and you're not going to beat them. Yep. And I'm not saying like I was a great bodybuilder, I was a mediocre bodybuilder, it took me 20 years to turn pro. But my point is, I was going to the gym every single day, especially during prep, thinking I'm going to take every fucking placing away from every fucking person I possibly can. Like, I don't like, they might put me fourth, but someone's losing fourth and they're going home with fifth because of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that was the yeah. mentality. It was just like, take out yeah. as many as I possibly yeah. could fight for every inch. You know, the, 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 the speech at the end of every given Sunday mm -hmm. and even Sunday, the, the oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that, that, that's, that's like one of my favorite moments in any movie of all time. Right. And that's, that was always in like all the, that was in the football I played. It was in. It was in when I rode ramps on my bike. It was like, I was willing, like I had some brutal crashes when I used to ski and, and ride. And um, it was, it was, it was in there from a young age. I don't quite know what it was, you know, it was the right yeah. movies or whatever, the right athletes, the right things on TV. I saw, I don't know what it was, but um, yeah, if you don't have that, I don't know if, you know, I mean, Jay Cutler had it. We know oh, that. Oh yeah. And he could do the volume too. Yeah. And he was <laughs> more <laughs> <laughs> damn jay, jay 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 said some funny stuff to me once jay said from mm -hmm. i'll never forget jay i said i said after all the years what do you think works best and jay goes i don't know i think you just just gotta be healthy he's like from 98 to 2004 i could do fucking anything he goes i could train high volume low volume six reps 20 reps i don't fucking matter i bury anybody do any workout grow on whatever he's like i just constant progress like from 98 to 2004 or 5 i could do anything and if i did nothing hurt everything was perfect i was healthy you know i was like yeah you kind of got a point there like <laughs> yeah. yeah you know plus you're right. jay cutler right but, that helps a little bit but yeah it, like that's how his like he wasn't overthinking he was just fucking giving her well and yeah. the mental maturity at that that spot for him i have to imagine too where it's like you understand you just understand you have good good understanding of yourself what you're doing what smart intensity looks like, what your recovery looks like. And once you have that knowledge, I, that's where that reference point, that's why that, that's, that's a much better way to put it than, you know, how Arnold used to say, I could go into the gym and do one exercise and get more results. I don't doubt that. I don't think it's a cocky thing to say at all, but I think that what Jay's saying is a lot more comprehensive yeah. basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and of course a guy like that, you know how you, um, uh, 
Like the other day I saw a video of a guy, he was on a skateboard with a fucking blindfold. Okay. And he goes off like a five stair drop and does a kick flip and lands it. Mm-hmm. That's with it. Blind, with a blindfold. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And so I thought I just couldn't help it. I'm like, that that's like turning off his targeting computer and using the phone. Oh my god, I was thinking about that. <laughs> that's it. You know what I mean? The, exactly. Yeah. And that's what that's what those advanced yeah. people are saying he just too. Fucking turned putting the, off putting his, the black shield down. How yes. to turned fight? off his targeting computer. Yeah. And he just was so in touch with everything of about his world and his existence that he could do that. Yeah. And that's sort of probably how Jay was with his recovery and his body and how he felt yep. and every meal that was going through him. Who knows? Maybe he's able to connect with that stuff more than yeah. other people. Right. Yeah. And it's hard for him to put into words because he doesn't know that other people can't do it. Right. Yeah. He's like, well, right. I just, I train more if I feel more recovered. Yeah. And maybe they're actually like seeing a color that we don't see. Right. Yeah. And you don't know if this is going on in some of these athletes. I mean, like Michael Jordan, like, I thought the other, I was talking to someone, I saw a podcast about how we perceive time. Yeah. Wouldn't it be something if Michael Jordan's time is slower? You actually yes. might actually truly be onto something because there's like, been a lot of people at that level that report when they're in the zone, in that, in that kind of X state. Yeah. He thinks state. everybody's a joke. Yeah. They, it, I, uh, who, who out of my way. Up? Yeah. You know, uh, like, you move so yeah. slow. Your feet are so slow. What's wrong with you? NFL linemen, a lot of them talk about that. Like they'd be getting off the ball quicker than other ones because everything's moving slower for them. And it's yeah. like a biological thing. It's even like what you were saying, where you're having those internal monologues with yourself before you do something. I found out some people don't do that. And some people can't do that. Right. If you think about that for a second. It's like, that's like a, that's like a robot I'm dealing with. If they don't have the same abilities that i have and we're doing like we're doing the same activity but i'm able to have this internal dialogue and kind of talk things through and they can't do that like that's kind of strange yeah i mean it's that's a interesting point i have internal dialogue all day long constantly Mm -hmm. and i just assume everyone does it i i did too (laughs) i don't know you know but but yeah it just makes me think like you know maybe there i mean there's level but they say there's levels to this shit right yeah yeah I mean, who knows how, yeah. how much of a spectrum we're on a spectrum of everything else, you know, yeah. some, some people are brilliant and some people are stupid and maybe that spectrum, you know, it continues to all of those other, you know, difficult to, you know, comprehend sort of things. Yeah. 